Back in the year 2020, Pokemon did a massive survey. They asked, what was your favorite Pokemon of all time? Coming in, in the number 10th spot, beating out hundreds and hundreds of favorites, was none other than Gengar. That's right guys, apparently the 10th most popular Pokemon in the entire world is Gengar. And that's why when I got today's video emailed to me, I was very shook. So basically I got an email right and it said, Ando, I think I have the Guinness Book of Records biggest Pokemon Gengar collection ever in the world. No one's got a bigger collection. And then there was a kicker. He then said, would you like to buy it because it's for sale? Uh, I don't I don't think I should uh, be buying any more Pokemon products just for a hot minute. I, I genuinely don't think I could fit it in my house. But even though I wasn't going to buy it, I thought, you know what? I'm actually so curious. What does this collection actually look like? So I emailed back. I was like, hey, I'm personally not going to buy this, but I would love it if you could give the like Unlisted Leaf viewers an exclusive tour of all your Gengar products Show us why you think it's breaking a Guinness Book of Records for the collection and maybe there's someone in the audience that would want to buy it. But seeing as today's video revolves all around Gengar, I thought if everyone wants to leave a comment in the comment section below, like what is a memory or like maybe it's a Pokemon card poll, maybe it's a product you bought that revolves around Gengar. And if you leave a comment, you could go on the running to win a Brilliant Stars Seal Booster Box. I'll select one comment and uh, I'll ship it out to you anywhere in the world. Good luck, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, just drop a comment. What's a memory with Gengar? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Let's, uh, <laughs> we're gonna react to the world's biggest Gengar collection. Load up the, okay, we got the video right here. Let's do it. Oh, hey there, fans of Unlisted Leaf. Hey, My no. name is Justin Silverman, and I think I have the world's largest Gengar collection, so I'll take you on a tour today. All right, so dude. right off the bat, the bedroom alone. This is all the, um, like, luxury items. Purses, rings, that sort of stuff. You can see I have a lot of the silver necklaces. Um, dude, I, I didn't, hang on. I didn't even know if Pokemon made luxury items of Gengar. That's pretty baller. So they're rings and neck. That's a ring in a Pokeball. What? I even have the stamps that say uh, my last name, Silverman, on them. Okay, this is pretty baller. Custom made Gengar stuff. I know it's uh, super cluttered, but nah, that's I kind of started running out of space. But I have the full um, Samantha Vega uh, purse set. I'm just going to pause it right here. I don't know too much about like expensive purse brands and all that, but I'm going to guess this is an expensive one. And uh, the fact that Pokemon have collaborated with an expensive purse brand and then put like a Gengar on the front is incredible. This man's a real collector because he's like, you know what? I'm not going to wear it, but it's perfect for the edition. I'm not really big on grading the cards, but these are my favorite ones right here. It's pretty interesting. So he doesn't grade them, but keeps them in sleeves. I love that Sabrina one, by the way. Such a good one. I have a few on the other side. Sabrina's Gengar looks awesome. So A lot of them are like, you know, fan made. Or... Yeah, custom cards. Dropping down a shelf, we have a lot of random stuff here. Slippers. Wallets glasses. What is that? The uh, custom Game Boy. That didn't come out. With I think that's a, that's actually Pokemon Blue right there. I love the Gengar boxer briefs, but the best thing on the shelf is definitely the uh, croissant. What? What do you mean croissant? Which I think you get from like 7-Eleven Japan, something like that. Okay, let's uh, just, can we just pause the video right? The, the man, okay, what just happened in the past 10 seconds? He's, they made Pokemon Gengar boxer briefs, undisclosed if they are worn or not. I don't know. I don't want to know. And then below that was a plush croissant. I got some um, cards that I like okay. as well. E-Series. And this deck case is really nice. That is cool with the holographic. This shelf has no real theme as well. Most of them don't really. Got the blister in the background. But this one has all the little stickers and pog looking things. So cool. And as well as my uh, pin collection. The pins are mostly non-official or from various artists um, I've met at conventions. I didn't even think of the pins. Like, who? that's crazy. They, but one of the standouts oh. is this uh, sticker card of uh, Team Rocket and their pink outfits. That was from the Cardass collection. Dude, this is sick. A lot of the uh, Tomy figures are up here. Yep. Different variations. Wow. A lot of the metal ones. Yep. All the Lego ones are up here, or fake Legos or Mega Blocks. But there's a lot of standouts on this shelf. You have the uh, Tech Deck skateboard. This is my favorite. I love the skateboard, by the way. 
I remember you that have, as a kid. Um, and the VHS, the VHS tape? Yeah, the v That was actually signed by Professor Oak, Stuart Zagnet. Why wouldn't it be? And that's one of the only times that Gengar has white eyes. Really? What color? On something that's officially released. So usually they're red? Instead of red. Yeah, okay. This is a Mexican Gengar. <laughs> it lights up. Yes, Mexican Gengar, shout out to my boy. But speaking of knockoffs, this is probably one of the rarest things I own. What in the Aunt Jemima? <laughs> it's a Gengar dog toy, but it's not technically Gengar. It's from uh, Monster Dude, released in 2015. I love And it's in pretty good condition. I restored the rubber. He restored the rubber. But I especially love these Pokemon Scale World figures, where all the Pokemons are the right size to each other. Yep. I know people that collect just Scale World stuff. And then I got um, two uh, fake ones that's like the mega version size. I also like the battle coins a lot. I made sure they're all in the same uh, package. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's that whole shelf right here. Oh, there's a Gengar with white eyes. Hey, shit. Okay, we're always looking for the Gengar with white eyes. That's what it sounds like. So the red eyes are normal, like these plush toys, regular run. Hey, there's the, the one I've got. The hats on top of no them. No way. Save space. Don't know why I'm surprised. My friend Mike drew that. All right, shout out to Mike. And here's the uh, skateboard. Hey, Bear Walker. The Bear Walker skateboard. I've got my Toxtricity one. I don't think they released too many of these, like 250 or something. Yeah, let's put. Okay, so he's got the 250th Gengar Bear Walker. Hold on just a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got the, uh, the 250 Toxtricity. One. So if there's any big Toxtricity fans, I guess you need this for the collection. It's honestly, this is the coolest staple in a collection. So the fact he's got the Gengar one is fantastic. All right, so moving to the next shelf. We got more cards on the side, of course. I love the card edition. I also really like these um, tags that they use to play games in Japan with. Yep. More cards. Yep. Nice. I like EX these ones series. a lot, especially the uh, Battle Festa um, Pikachu. One of the best. Mega Gengar. One of the best ones. And the Waffle Box. Oh. You know, that speaks for itself. It's chocolate chip. And no, the waffles are not in there. Okay, let's pause it. Let's look. Look at the box art. This, this is the. These are the products that I want to collect in my lifetime. I think, like old random. It's that commercial generated art. If you can see that. But why did Pokemon collab with Egos and make chocolate chip waffles? But Gengar was the dude you stamp on there. Oh, the glue bottles back He's, there. Okay, they made Gengar the glue. Elmer's glue. I filled it with distilled water actually because the glue was getting really uh, a little iffy in okay. there. I love this set. And it's from the so Pokemon that, Center, that statue. Destro uh, destroyed uh, street kind of set. Oh, and this um, statue, resin statue is like ridiculous. That's cool. It's a whole evolution line. It's like really heavy too. That's sick. All right, this shelf probably has the weirdest stuff Why? on it. Of course, we got a lot of oh figures. Oh my God, what the flip? What's that? Uh, that one's weird. Oh, forgot to mention all these cards that I need to sort. They're mostly um, bootlegs. Ah, oh, there's some real ones, but from I different saw a Pokemon countries. Go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're, so, they're real. That's the fun. Game. All right, so this section oh. of all the plush is quite outrageous. What's the black one back there? That's cr um, because the core underneath is all other plush. So let me um, break it all apart and take out my favorite ones. We have the Black Devil Gengar. Definitely a knockoff, but I don't know. It reminds me of the first generation Sprite. I just like really it Really creative this backpack, design. Like, it's like the Sprite. Really weird looking. I don't know. It's definitely one of the older items. Yep. I think that one's fun. I still like the Sprite design thing. That's pretty cool. Um, any Ditto Gengar, yeah, I really so appreciate. Um, this one has like a pouch on it. This one's probably the first ever big Gengar, the uh, Cuddle, Cuddle Buddy, Cuddle Plush Pillow. Yeah. Cuddle Pillow Gengar. You can Gengar. tell when something's old, like it has that thinner. That one's huge thinner, too. worn out material on it. Just as big as this Sleep. uh, Sleepy Time Sleeping one. Sleeping Gengar. Um, next up is the uh, PC Gengar with the um, keyboard. Because what? what it is, is um, you would rest on like a desk and you put your hand around and you use it to like rest your hands when you're, you're typing. Kid. So it's oh like. Oh my gosh. You know, Gengar's typing with you. Are you serious? <laughs> and last but not least, you might know. Oh, this is sick! <sighs> Giant sleeping bag Gengar. Yeah, you sleep with in the, the tongue. tongue. That's pretty obnoxious. No, I love it. That's highlight for me. The Pokeball pillow. But there's a zipper on the bottom, and it turns into a Cuddle Buddy uh, Gengar. Oh my God. There it is. And as you can still see, the it's Pokeball a transforming plush toy. Is now You're inside of it, me. you can zip it back up, and yeah, that's one of my favorite plushes cool. right here. So I was just trying to stack the plushes away, and forgot there's a few 
Gengar pillows and rugs down here. And then I forgot to actually show this entire spot over here. Hang on, so what the flip is this? I guess I should do that. Dude. Here we have an incense okay. burner from South Korea. A nice figure. Resin. What is that? Buff Gengar. You might have seen this one. I'm terrified. That right there could be the thumbnail for the video. It's not going to be because I don't want to scare the kids and give nightmares. But when I say this man's collected everything, like if you're going to buy this collection, I'm genuinely curious. Like, what what's your favorite item? And don't you dare say it's super buff Gengar because that's the weirdest sentence I've said all month. And I've said some pretty weird stuff. A nice plastic figure that Pokemon Center put out. Yeah, Pokemon Center be putting out some pretty nice stuff. And of don't course they? the. Gengar Haunted House. Jeez. One cool thing you'll notice about the house is the candy bowl. What is it? That one right there on the doorstep. What's it filled with? Is that one right there. And this jacket is awesome. Jeez. It's like a cheerleader jacket. I would wear that. I would literally wear that in every video. It's really cool. Um, you'll notice the sneakers. The sneakers are really nice looking. They look like a pair of like 98 Barclays, something like that. Yeah, so these are from India and you might notice the red Pokemon yeah. logo. Um, that's because that's the um, logo for Pokemon Asia. These came out in 2004. Let's pause it right there. That makes total sense because is that the same reason that there's a red logo on the Pokemon Jungle Booster Packs? Like there's correlation there. I definitely feel like the Asian because that's where they printed it. Wow, we're learning a lot of, lot of weird stuff here, but the fact he's got Indian uh, old toys that all have like Gengars on them, that's why I bought them, is fantastic. It's always spot the Gengar, because he doesn't have something that like is in his collection that's not Gengar related. People are a little confused about if they had the license to actually do this or not, but yeah. they did for about one okay. year. A company called Fun School, what? which if you notice looks like the place. Hold up, hold up, hold up, I had no idea about Fun School. What is that? The booster pack. Pokemon, uh, M Metroid? What the heck? That's unreal. Next up is just, yeah, a bunch more random oh things. Oh my. Plates. Um, oh, I love the set. Um, you'll see that sign in the back. That's a sign from the actual Gachapon machine that had all the, the uh, figures yep, that they classic. had recently. Yep, 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 yep. Well, guys, I think that pretty much wraps up the Gengar collection there by Justin. Thank you so much for filming that for the channel. Like, I really appreciate it. And I always can tell someone how authentic they are because that collection right there, the amount of stories that you had behind each individual items, I feel like you could have you could have talked all day about each individual thing, and I love that you don't just collect the valuable stuff, you don't just collect the authentic stuff, it's stuff you find cool because you genuinely love the Pokemon, and that really shines through with this whole collection. I can't wait to read the comment section filled with Gengar memories and different items and all that. And also, if there's one person that ends up buying his entire collection of today's video, please let me know. I would love to, I don't know, get some photos of the process of you getting boxes and boxes of purple stuff delivered. It would be pretty cool. But anyway, that was that was pretty crazy. I'm gonna up my Pikachu game for sure. Most of all though, guys, have a fantastic day and keep on gaming. Until the next video, guys, I'll see you then.